This is like one of the worst things I've ever done. <laughs> I was a fucking menace in high school. A lot of people did not like me. And now that I'm looking back, it's like, yeah, like no shit they didn't like you. My school was really small, so like everybody knew everybody. I think I graduated with like 62 kids in my class. But anyway, one day there was this new kid at school, right? I'm never gonna get over this. Preface by saying this, I was a young girl. I was in like eighth or ninth grade, so don't come for me. So I get to lunch and this new kid is sitting at my table with my friends. <sighs> I can't, I can't. I sit down and he starts talking to me. I don't even remember, I don't even remember what he said to me. All I remember is that he said some slick shit to me and I said, <laughs> and then this is what happened word for word. I said, say that slick shit to me again and I'll cut your fucking mom. And everybody goes silent and stares at me like this. And the new kid looks at me like this. I, can, I still can't believe I did this. He pulls up the sleeve of his shirt and on his arm is a tattoo portrait of his mother with her birth date and death date that was a mere two weeks ago. And he says to me, my mom just died. That's why I moved here. What do you even do in that situation? I said, I am so sorry. And I got up from the table and I sat in the bathroom for the rest of lunch. Him and I ended up being good friends after that though. So I don't think there were any hard feelings. And then maybe a week later, we got another new kid. And this kid, no, he was a menace. He was a fucking menace. Let me tell you what he did to me one day. A couple weeks after the other new kid came, we were in Spanish class in the back of the classroom, in the back corner of the classroom where like the teacher never looked. So I'm in class taking my notes and shit and I smell fire. Why do I smell fire? You'll never believe it. This kid lit my hair on fire. So I screamed and I start throwing my hair around until the fire goes out. And I said, why would you do that? And he goes, well, I thought it'd be funny. And the weird thing was, I talked to this kid like every day, like we were friends. Why would he do that to me? We were not friends after that. I got up in the middle of the class and I went to the principal's office and I marched in his office and I said, Mr. Principal, sir, new kid number two, just let my fucking hair on fire in the middle of class. And he said to me, Lexi, this kid's had a hard and troubled life, let it go. And he didn't get in trouble.